I hope you're ready for some practice problems to reinforce the learnings that we've had uh, in terms of preparation of trial balance. So let's look at uh, one of the practice problems. So on the slide, you have uh, a list of accounts and this is uh, not an account. This is not a statement. This is nothing. It uh, looks like a nice table in the form of, you know, account that we prepare. But all it does is it gives you uh, account, different account balances. So, so on the numbering continues here. Just imagine that. All right. So you have share capital and the balance in the share capital is 150,000. This means that you prepared a ledger account for the share capital and you uh, finally figured out a balance in the balancing figure in the account, which is 150,000. So the closing balance in the share capital account is 150,000. Likewise, the closing balance in purchase account is 40,000, in office equipment is 2400 and so on. That is what the content on this slide mean. What we have to do is we have to use this balance, uh, these balances and I have a format of trial balance here. We have to uh, populate the names of the accounts here and we have to just prepare the trial balance. Simple as that. So the process uh, for doing that is as follows. We have to identify uh, you know, what a given account is in terms of asset liability income expense. And then we say, is it a debit balance or a credit balance? So we will do that next. So let me take blue color here. Share capital. Uh, share capital is a liability and all liabilities have a credit balance. Purchase is an expense. All expenses have a debit balance. And, you know, identifying an item to be income expense asset liability. This should be on our tips now. Identifying whether, uh, you know, what balance does the asset account have, liability account have, income or expense account have. Again, that should be on your tips by now. Cash in hand is an asset, hence debit balance. Cash at bank is also an asset. Therefore, it should be also a debit balance. Electricity expenses, all expenses have debit balance. Stationery is also an expense, hence a debit balance. Office equipment is asset, a debit balance. Sundry debtors are assets, debit balance. Machinery is also an asset, hence the debit balance. Salaries are expenses, again debit balance. Sales on the uh, other, uh, the next item is sales. Sales is income and hence a credit balance. Sundry creditors are uh, liabilities, so credit balance. Rent is an expense, a debit balance. Furniture is an asset, debit balance. Bank loan, a liability, a credit balance. Investment is an asset, debit balance. Sorry about that. Commission paid is uh, uh, an expense, so debit balance. Stock is uh, an asset, hence debit balance. Now, commission received is an income, therefore credit. Postage in Telegram is expenses, hence credit balance. Oh, sorry, debit balance. There you go. So if you know uh, about, you know, which item is an asset liability income expense, uh, expense and what balance uh, will this account have, you are set. There is not much to do in preparing the trial uh, balance statement. So all we have to do now is bring these balances to uh, the trial balance. So I'm going to write them one by one. You have share capital, which is a credit balance, so 150,000. Then we have purchases and cash in hand. So purchase, cash in hand, cash at bank. I saw that as well. So purchase was 40,000, 7,000, 7,000 and I think 8,500. So 8,500. Then you have electricity expenses and stationery. So electricity expenses and stationery. 
the balances are 4800 and 500 so 4800 and 500 then you have office equipment debtors and machinery so i'll write office equipment debtors and machinery the balances are 2400 8,160 2400 8,160 thousand and then you have salaries 11,400 you have sales and creditors sales and creditors these are credit balances so 105 400 hundred and five four hundred and you have five thousand then you have rent furniture and bank loan rent furniture and bank loan the amounts are two thousand sixteen thousand ten thousand so two thousand sixteen thousand and 10,000 bank loan is a credit balance then you have investment commission and stock so investment commission and stock investment is 6,000 1,050 32 6,000 1,050 and 3,200 all debit balances and then you have commission received and postage so commission received 1200 income and postage postage is 750 a debit there you go we have now posted all the account balances into either uh, debit side or the credit side I'll just run through it to make sure that I have posted these items uh, correctly so share, uh, share capital is credit, purchase, cash in hand, electricity, uh, stationery, office equipment, debtors, machinery, salaries, sales, credit, creditors, bank loan, investments, commission, stock. Yeah, seems about right. All we have to do now is figure out the total amount on the both sides. If the total is uh, equal, uh, then, you know, we've done the posting uh, correctly. So I'll just uh, do the... Uh, sum of this and this comes out to be 2,71,600 and when you sum up the debit side it gives you the same uh, total. So that is the proof of double entry system. Debits have equal credits. All debit balances are equal to all credit balances. This is how you prepare a statement of trial balance. What we are really doing is we are doing a trial of the balances. We are bringing in all balances and we are just trying out if everything is correct. All right. And in this process, we also we also summarize the third step in the uh, accounting cycle after recording classifying. We are into summarizing. We are summarizing the balances of all accounts. At the end of a given financial period, you can look at this statement and uh, say that in the share, uh, share capital account, we have total 150,000 due to be paid back to the shareholders or this is the investment contributed by the shareholders. Total purchases during the year are 40,000. Total electricity paid, electricity bills paid is uh, 4,800. Money to be recovered from debtors is 8,000. Total salaries paid is 11,400. Uh, then commission received during the uh, this financial period is 1,200 and so on. So now at one place you have balances of all the accounts. So it's a summary presented at a single place. You do not need to go to now every account to look at the balance. You can have this statement in front of you at the end of a financial period and come to know uh, of the balances of all the uh, balances in various types of accounts. So uh, let me stop here. I'll see you in the next uh, practice problem.